Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this picture and asked how you could draw it. And I've even, I think I've actually made it a little bit better. Look like the words are wrapping around. I could, I could have taken some time to pick better fonts, but this is super easy. Just take your ellipse tool and do not hold down the control button. Control D and make a duplicate. While holding down the shift button, bring it in. That'll give you that inside part. Take the lower part and control D again and just start moving it down about whatever size you want. Take your two point line, go from that quadrant to that quadrant that makes you sure you're on the outside. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line that you can't not see. I don't care about whether we have um, hair lines or solid lines yet. And then just take your artistic ability that you have and come off that edge and just go over here, and then go over here, and then go back up. Take your smoothing tool and just kind of smooth off these corners. Take your virtual segment of leak key and delete that part you can't see. Now all this needs to be a thick line except for this circle. We're gonna set our nudge factor on four inches and we're gonna move that over. We are going to double click on the pen tool, make it about two points and scale with object and make it black. Scale with object is gonna help you in the future if you make this bigger or smaller. Nudge that back. I've actually made this a little bit too thick, I think. So let's go back and make it one point. Scale with object. Bring this back. They add a little uh, line there like uh, perforation of the toilet paper. And I actually have a little trimming I could do right there. Take a two point line and just kind of draw it in there, it doesn't matter what size. Go double click on your pen tool and go right here to styles and just pick a perforation, something that'll be visible and make it black and make it something other than a hairline and scale with object. Then take the whole thing Go to your boundary tool to make a boundary and nudge the boundary out of the way. Go to object, or go, excuse me, effect, contour, contour the outside any amount that you think's right. Go up to object and break contour apart, get the outside one and bring it over. Then all you have to do is bring in your words. And all I did for this, I typed them out differently and I just use the envelope tool to make it kind of look like it's wrapping around that roll of toilet paper, you know, ever so slightly. And you could do a lot, a lot more, a lot less to your heart's content. The only other thing we need to do is put a, is this is going to be an ornament, we need to put a a holder up there and it needs to be a little bit off center because it's it's way over here very easily just take a and you would want to measure this because I don't even know how big this thing is yet we'll bring it right into there take the virtual segment delete key and delete that whoop went too far delete that take another circle and bring it in there and you'd want to measure that to make sure um then I would set your nudge factor or something lower, 0 0.001, and just move that down more evenly. Then I'm gonna use a smart fill tool. To fill that in, I'm gonna change my nudge distance back.
back to four inches. I'm gonna nudge it down, I'm gonna left click, right click, and what that did was sealed all the joints. And voila, you're done. I would use maybe a less of a curfew or a contour around there. Don't be quite so dramatic. And you could actually take your, uh, it's hitting this right here. Just take your smooth tool and kind of smooth that out a little bit. It's just because it's going in where that paper is. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.